What's up guys, Dave Wilson here with my partner, Andrew the Man Charlesworth, the original Thunder Bro. And today we're talking about different types of substitutions we can make for traditional machine work you might find in a regular club gym. One of the movements we love to program for leg day are different variations of hack squats. We're not really loading the hip and hamstring so much, but spending a lot of time developing the quads and that teardrop shape of the legs. And we can do this in a couple different ways. Previously, we've shown you how to do this with a landmine hack squat. Today, we're gonna to show you how to substitute a hack squat with what we call a sissy squat. And in a sissy squat, all we're doing is manipulating the athlete's balance so that they're able to load the quads a little bit more. So very simple setup, you just need a band and a kettlebell for this. You're gonna strap a band around a bar, and then you're gonna step through the band so that it goes right behind each knee. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna provide you a counterbalance so that you can actually lean back when you're squatting. So Andrew's gonna take a couple steps back, and he can just grab a light kettlebell. And what he's gonna do is he's gonna start in a nice wide stance. So bring so his shoulder width apart. This is one variation, kind of in a wider type of sumo stance. So we've got a couple of reps in here, Andrew. And what he's focusing on is keeping his chest up and just letting his knees track forward. Now what's a little harder is if he brings his feet in a little bit closer to maybe hip or shoulder width. So now a little bit even more focus on the quads. And the hardest variation would be his feet all the way together. Excellent. So we like this type of sissy squat work um, that it's really good because it's a bit lighter from some more higher rep kind of metabolic stress type of work. We'll typically cash out where we'll do, you know, three sets of 10 in a wide stance, 10 in a regular stance, and 10 in a narrow stance. Whereas with the landmine hack squat, we can actually load it up with quite a bit of weight. Two different stimulus replicating the same movement. Dave Lipson out. <laughs>